what's going on guys? Subi Bros here again. It's Taylor. Ah, it's my pro property manager. Bookie hates the fact that I work on cars. <laughs> what's good, Josh? You're up in the house. One day out of New England, boy. Hitting the junkyard. Gotta pick up some extra shit for the RS build and for the sick ass blub eye. Fucking car is pissing coolant. <laughs> Yo, man. I can't wait to upload these vids. You gotta edit them first. Yeah, yeah I'm uploading a shit ton of them, though. And then we'll be like more skids. Yo, I want us to get a fucking team sticker and everything, yo. Frank and Subies. Did you work on the sticker yet? Nah, I haven't worked on shit. Oh, gotta clean that off a little bit. It's got a little condensation on it. Alright, that's better. Yeah, yo. Boom, here's my list for today. I need eight longer intake manifold bolts for this fucking RS for these intake manifold spacers because more air equals more horsepower equals more pussy. No, not only more air, more air, more fuel. You have to have any, uh, a good ratio. It's all good, y'all. got this. You know, break it in on that 8 PSI. Get some nitrous too. I'm joking. Nah, fuck nitrous, bro. Nitrous is for DSMs. Oh, yo, running low on battery. Nitrous is for DSMs. Running low on battery. We also got some T's for our silicone boost. I gotta get some silicone hosing. And just always gonna grab more couplers at the fucking junkyard because you can never have enough couplers. Yo, on the way back, can we stop off at Speedway? I got an Amazon locker there full of shit. Wait, you got a locker at Speedway? Yeah, because I didn't trust them delivering it to my house because you know niggas be stealing shit out here. Yeah. But, alright, yo, stay tuned. As promised, uh, I got to work a little early, so I got some time to do some unboxing. Got my box cutter here, um, courtesy of my place of work. Um, so let's see what we got here. First package. Uh, Amazon Locker, that's me. Amazon Fulfillment Centers. Let's see what we got in here. Nice. Alright, perfect. What I've got here is some Shark Bite Tees. Uh, these are wicked important um, for NAT building your Subaru, uh, especially in my case with my EJ25D. Um, these are going to allow me to tap into my coolant lines to then uh, run coolant lines to my TDO4 at the moment and later on at a TDO5 that I've got and uh, the TDO5 that I've got I'm not sure if it's a uh, 16G, 18G, 20G uh, but it's a huge turbo so I got two of these guys you need two of them to tap into the heater core lines um, so that's all set happy I got that that means I can move a little bit more forward and on my build on top of that next box move the seat back a little bit more all right next box also also something pretty useful okay uh we've got an oil pan gasket here for the ej2522 and 25d um i'm just gonna pull the oil pan see what's going on in there i'm not install installing an oil pickup um i should but i don't think it's really that necessary for what i'm running um i'm not going super high power and then on top of that i've got a bunch of these half inch barbed tees, uh, they're plastic, and this is just going to help me um, pretty much run PVC lines around my uh, intake and stuff of that nature. Put those with that. Alrighty, let's see what we got next. Got another box. Nice. Can't have enough of these when you're in a turbo in your car. Hose clamps. Alrighty, I think I should have about 10 in here. Nice. Cool, these are a lot bigger than what I expected. I actually thought these were going to be wicked small. Um, these are... I'm not even sure of the size. 78 to 102 ml. Uh, these are kind of big, but I guess they... They'll work. Uh, I got a lot of these. Uh, I may send one of these back. Because oh, I already picked up a ton from the junkyard. I'm assuming that's what this is also hose clamps here, but then again, you can never have too many hose clamps. I thought those were going to be smaller ones, because uh, I need smaller ones for a lot of PVC lines. So I'm going to have to probably go pick those up from the hardware store. Here, we've got this box. Oh, I got fuel hose. It's important. Uh, this is the... Uh, this is braided, rated for uh, fuel and oil. It's a uh, half inch. That's the size that was recommended on the forms. Got that. That's important. 
Uh, Amazon had a really good price on that, uh, a lot cheaper than what it was available for at the local store, and a lot of local places didn't have a uh, half inch hose size. They had smaller, like 3 eighths, 5 eighths. Um, so I needed that. And on top of that, this sounds like more hose clamps. Uh, I think this is actually going to help me out. It's a variety pack. Um, it's got a bunch of small ones. Yep. This is, this is actually kind of what I thought the other ones were going to be like. Um, but I've got a good assortment here, so I'll be able to use whatever it is they have here for me. But hose clamps can't have enough of this. I think this is a 60 piece. Uh, yeah, it's by a company called Hiltichi 60 piece adjustable. There's eight variations. Hose gear, uh, worm gear hose clamps. These are great. Uh, this will allow me to tighten down fuel lines, PVC lines, and fab stuff up to the intake that I'm going to make. Um, I'm running an 07, sorry, 01. To 05 Honda Civic eBay intake and one thing that's really cool about it is all the bends that it has works with the Subaru throttle bodies so by having this and that fuel hose I'll be able to drill and tap in some barbed wires um, into those hose lines sorry into the uh, intake and from there I'll be able to hose clamp those down and kind of replicate what's already stock on the stock turbo inlets for the WRX's and STI's that's gonna help seal things up for me that's important Okay, other than that, oh, some more stuff in here. Okay, this is from a company called Excel. Um, it's just some Amazon company. Nice. So these are those barbed lines that I'm talking about. This is what the half uh, half inch hose is going to go on. Uh, these are pretty much are, are what I'm going to have put into the intake, and then I'm going to have the half inch hose go onto these. Get some couplers on there tighten that up and run those PVC lines, put a couple T's near the crankcase, and then tighten everything up there. Kind of emulate what would be on a stock turbo system um, and just route everything perfectly so there isn't any blowback in the turbo. For shits and giggles, I'm just gonna open up this second hose clamp thing. Yeah, nice, yeah, pretty much same thing, hose clamps. I'll probably have to return these, uh, I don't need them. Uh, I guess I ordered the wrong thing, I was a little too hesitant. On ordering things but I'm happy I got that 60 piece set that's really gonna help me out and um, I think that's everything I've got a couple things coming from eBay um, I've got a braided steel fuel, uh, fuel and hose line coming I've got intake manifold spacers I got a new center um, timing cover because the one I had um, my power steering fluid and all this other grime had broken it um, and I don't want the timing belt exposed um, so I got a new timing cover there also from eBay, I got some other miscellaneous things. But for the most part, we're looking real good. Um, I'm heading up to my buddy Dave's with Josh. Obviously, you guys know who that is. Um, this Saturday. Uh, so come Saturday, probably when I get out of work, around like 3, 4 o'clock, I'm just going to head up there and we're going to work there probably about to like 9, 10 o'clock and just get as much as we can do. Um, the big things that I want to get out of the way are the cross member. Um, I'm putting in an 02 to 03 bug eye cross member in there. Um, I'm hoping that all of the things there work. Um, the guy who I bought it from wasn't sure if it was from a wagon or a sedan. If it's from a bug eye wagon, it'll bolt in no problem. If it's from, excuse me, that pesto dinner. Uh, but if it's from a bug eye sedan, then I'm going to have to get some washers and shim or add some washers um, to the outside of the control arms before I um, mount up the uh, cross member. Um, other than that, it'll fit. Um, for anyone else who wants to NAT turbo your 1993 to 01 non turbo Subaru, Chances are you can find the 91 to 93 or 94 Legacy um, 2.2 Turbo that everyone glor <laughs> everyone glorifies. Um, that cross member will uh, fit. Um, I had a chance to pick one up and I went to go check it out and it was too rusty for my liking. Um, it wasn't solid in some places. There was some clear rot. So, I mean, while that would have been nice and bolted on, I figured for structural integrity, I got myself this WRX one. Um, so I hope that works. Other things I don't want to do, um, granted I have most of the stuff I need to put the car back together. Um, I went to Subaru, um, my idle air control um, mechanism valve thingy, um, that's also from an EJ22T or the Legacy 2.2 Turbo. Uh, I had to order a new hose from Subaru and when I went to go pick that up uh, today it wasn't there. Um, so the shed should be here tonight, tomorrow, hopefully it gets here by Saturday because that would be something that would prevent us from getting the car to turn over and stuff like that. Um, but stay tuned guys, um, I'm going to head into work now because it's probably time for me to go. So uh, yeah, 
Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, um, and stay tuned for some more content.